Like, what kind of shit can we talk about? Like, all kinds of freaky shit? Any, anything. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Anything goes. Anything goes. So. Anything goes. Are you into role playing or? Yeah. Um, I've role played before and I've done um, fairly adventurous things. I've had some great roof sex. I've had sex with many men in a single day. Um, sometimes a single hour. <laughs> I'd say I've had sex with over 100 women. 69 is awesome. I think everyone's getting off. Well, altogether threesomes, we've probably had like over 20 something threesomes. I was doing a pull up and fucking at the same time. I enjoy anal sex. That's all part of the playground. I guess we're called swingers. So I might have double penetration for the first time tonight. The last time I had group sex, it kind of spontaneously happened. At my most recent hotel party, it was six girls and two guys. I was one of the guys. And for at least two or three hours, it was just fucking and fucking and fucking. I have given blood in the past. I've donated blood before. I have donated blood, yes. I have donated blood in the past. Yeah, so. I have cancer survivors in my family for generations. And I just think that that's something that's easy to do. What if I told you that uh, in order for you to donate blood, uh, that you would have to give up sex for a year? You what? <laughs> Wow, to donate blood, I, what do you mean, like, I would have to wait, I would have had to be abstinent for a full year before I could, doesn't sound right, man. No, 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 not at all. Uh, ah, damn. What would you say if I told you that in order for gay men to give blood, even if their test comes back clean, that they still have to wait a year to give blood? I don't, I don't understand how that works, though. Like, if your blood is clean. That's pretty fucked up. It's discriminatory. Doesn't make any sense. If their blood is clean, their blood is clean. Certain people wait a year after Testing clean makes no sense. Like, saying the sentence out loud makes no sense. It's insulting. You're taking away somebody's opportunity to give life. I'd say trust the science and not your preconceived notions. This rule is arbitrary and unfair, and it's not necessary today.